Hello, this is David with another episode from the Lotus Council. Today I'm going to be opening up this secret layer drop series, Thalia Beyond the Hell Vault. Uh, it was one that happened a while back. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, I just recently got mine. So uh, we're going to open it up and show you what's inside. The uh, uh, secret layers have been a pretty good set for many people so far. I've gotten a handful of them, not all of them, but uh, I like the ones I've gotten. They've, uh, they've all got fun art, um, interesting uh, cards in them, some really good reprints that have been much needed, and I didn't have any copies of Thalia, so I thought I'd get one of these because it's got four plus the random stained glass planeswalker inside. So let's take a look. We've got that stained glass planeswalker at the bottom. We'll take a look at that later. But first, let's look at all of the copies of Thalia we've got here. A lot of packaging on these. So they're all Thalia Guardian of Thraben. It's just four different arts and flavor text. But Thalia Guardian of Thraben is, of course, a 2 1 for one and a white. Legendary creature human soldier with first strike and it has non-creature spells cost one generic mana more to cast So good card see some play in commander. I believe it's also a staple in modern maybe legacy I'm not sure so this is the first card and they are all foil. I see some very nice foiling there Let's See the second copy and as I understand it, these are all from different points in Thalia's story, which I'm not super familiar with, unfortunately. But uh, I believe you can read that up on dailymtg.com. That's the third copy. And last but not least, this one's probably my favorite. I just really like all the feathers and everything on this one. That's the fourth copy. And then again... We've got that stained glass planeswalker. These can be kind of hard to get out, unfortunately. It's uh, like glued down to the bottom or something. Oh, we can do this. Uh, yeah, I wish I wish they'd make these a little bit easier to get at, uh, especially because you don't want to destroy or damage the card. There we go. So let's see what that is. It's Dovin Hand of Control. So not a bad one. Let's take a closer look. Open it up. And none of these, I know uh, some people have had problems with uh, these all curling. They are a little bit curled, but none of them are too bad. I'd say they're definitely all sleeve playable. But uh, that's some nice foiling on Dovin Hand of Control. And these all lay pretty flat. Nothing, nothing too bad. So that's it. Uh, not too long of a video today. Just wanted to show off the, this uh, uh, new to me secret layer. So I'd like to thank all of you for watching today. And thank you to our patrons over on Patreon who support us and help us do what we do. And thank you also to our sponsor, Geekified without whom we couldn't do any of what we're doing. So thank you again, have a great day, and have fun playing Magic.